ever wondered what a slurred initial segment of the QRS complex on an ECG means? It might be a sign of Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. This particular condition is a type of ventricular pre-excitation, a term that may sound complex but essentially refers to an abnormality in the heart's electrical conduction system. It's detected through an electrocardiogram, a test that records the electrical signals in your heart. Stay tuned to understand more about the ECG findings of WPW syndrome. Understanding the ECG findings of WPW syndrome can be simplified into four main points. First, the PR interval, which is the time between the start of the P wave and the start of the QRS complex, is less than 0.12 seconds. This represents the time it takes for electrical signals to travel from the atria to the ventricles. Second, we see a slurred initial segment of the QRS complex, known as a delta wave. This is due to the ventricles being partially activated earlier than normal. Third, the QRS complex widens with a total duration greater than 0.12 seconds. This signifies that the ventricles are taking longer than normal to depolarize. Lastly, we observe secondary repolarization changes. These are alterations in the ST segment and T wave, which follow the QRS complex. These findings on the ECG can be the first step to diagnosing WPW syndrome. Now that we've gone over the ECG findings, let's summarize the key points about WPW syndrome. Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome is a type of ventricular pre-excitation that's identifiable on an ECG. Key ECG findings include a PR interval less than 0.12 seconds, a slurred initial segment of the QRS complex, that's the delta wave and a QRS complex that widens with a total duration greater than 0.12 seconds. Also, look for secondary repolarization changes. Understanding WPW syndrome and its ECG findings can help you diagnose and manage this condition effectively. Remember, knowledge is the first step to better healthcare.